So you're interested in getting an Ethernet adapter for your Fire Stick to see if it can run faster and better. It's a worth getting what we're going to find out together. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to be featuring a question from Robert and here's your question. It reads, Dan, is it a good idea to hook up my Fire Stick to an Ethernet adapter that's for the Fire Stick devices? Robert, I first want to thank you for your question. Uh, I wanted to make this video specifically for you and for everybody else that's interested in getting an Ethernet cable. So thank you for that. First thing I want to mention is I am going to show you a series of tests that I've done. These are going to be short clips of the results of the speed test while using these different adapters and also doing a speed test without an adapter and see what the outcome is. Now I'm going to show you first the devices that we're going to be using. We're going to be using an aftermarket adapter. Okay, this is just a big cable. It has the Ethernet cable goes in here, the power source for here, and you also get the side that goes into the actual fire stick to power the fire stick okay that's all that is it's an aftermarket one it's not original by amazon but i know that was going to be a factor for some of my viewers so i also got an actual amazon adapter with the ethernet cable input power and then the one that goes onto the fire stick itself what fire sticks are we going to be running our tests on we're going to be running our test on a 4k fire stick and we're also going to be running our test on a 4K Max Fire Stick, which is the newest Fire Stick which was just released. All right. Now, apologize for the footage. I had to record this in my wife's room since the router's over there. And I recorded the TV with my phone. That's why it's going to look a little off. may not be as focused, but you still see the results of the speed test. And the first test I'm about to show you is going to be on an aftermarket adapter. Aftermarket adapter on a 4K Fire Stick, not the Max but the regular 4K Fire Stick, and this is what this test concluded. All right, guys, now that you've seen that, I'm going to do the same test again on the same 4K Fire Stick, but this time we're going to be using the Amazon adapter for the Fire Stick to make sure that it's not an issue with an aftermarket adapter. So here's the results of that test. Now, we're going to do the test on a 4K Fire Stick with no adapters. We're going to be doing a Wi-Fi just like you would do when you first get the Fire Stick and you pull it out of the box. Everything's Wi-Fi. This is the results of that test. All right, now that we've seen that, we're gonna repeat the same test again one more time with the aftermarket ethernet adapter. We're gonna be doing it on the brand new 4K Max. And this is the results of that test. And now we're going to do the same test again with the 4K Max with the Amazon adapter. Here it is. Let's do it. All 
And the last test, of course, is going to be the 4K Max right out of the box. No adapter. Going Wi-Fi. These are the results to that. Were you guys surprised? I sure was. In theory, anything that you hook up to an Ethernet cable is supposed to run faster because it's a direct source to the Internet and skipping all the whole Wi-Fi and losing data over Wi-Fi. That's in theory. With computers, that's absolutely the fact. You want to hook up your computer to an Ethernet cable because you're going to get the better result because you have a direct source for the Internet. But we cannot argue the fact that using an Ethernet adapter on a Fire Stick actually made matters worse. The Fire Stick was not intended in the first place to be used with an Ethernet cable. It was meant to be used as a Wi-Fi connection to the Internet. That's why you get always better results with that. So to answer your question, is it worth it? Absolutely not. I don't think this is worth the plastic that it's, that it's made in. It's a waste of a cable. It's a waste of space. And it's absolutely a waste of your money. Do not get this, Robert, any other person that's considering doing this to improve it. The only thing that I can think of that could benefit, you know, benefit you getting this will be if you have no Wi-Fi at all and you just have a modem, then obviously this is the only way you're going to get your Fire Stick to work, okay? Um, and other than that, maybe having a steady connection, having less interruptions, but unless you have a really bad modem and router you shouldn't have any issues just the way the uh, the fire stick comes out of the box using a Wi-Fi so don't get this now I wanna go ahead and give you a little bit extra information because I know the techie people out there are gonna ha have a lot of questions it goes is that it was it a consistent test do you have the right equipment for it how what did you use what is your internet speed in your home what is your situation I'm gonna go and try to answer all those questions right now so Let's first start off with my internet provider. My internet provider is Spectrum, and I'm paying for 400 megs of internet speed. Now, before you start blowing up about the speeds that I was getting on my Fire Stick, if I'm paying for 400, why am I not getting the 300 and 400 speeds with Wi-Fi? I'm going to explain that in just a moment. But I'm going to move on to the next piece of equipment that I have. I have my own modem. I don't have a modem from the cable company or the, uh, the internet provider. My modem is an Aries surfboard SB8200, you guys can look it up for to see all the text that it has, but it's a 3.1 gigabyte cable modem and it has capabilities up to 2,000 megabytes per second and I'm only paying for 400. So getting a modem that can do up to 2,000, you can see how this is a high-end modem that is made to take a lot of bandwidth in. I love this thing. I haven't had an issue since I got it. Now, the next thing is what kind of router do you have, Dan? I mean, is it is it one from Spectrum? Absolutely not. I have my own router because I have a smart home, so I needed something that was going to be powerful enough to do everything I needed to do in my home. And my router is a brand new, four-day-old, okay? So it's nothing that's been sitting there, nothing that needs an update. Everything's up to date. Four days old is an Amplify Alien Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. This is the best router I have ever owned. And if you guys are on the market because you have a smart home, you have a lot of devices, and you're looking for the best, I think, in my opinion, one of the best routers that I've ever owned and used has been this router. It's pricey. It's about 400 bucks, but, man, to me, it's worth every penny. Obviously, most of you do not have to go that route. This is because I have a smart home. And, well, then I have a smart home, too. Okay. But do you have as many devices as I do? Because I really go overboard when it comes to my devices. And I'll prove it to you. Here's my, my Amplify application. And it shows you right here how many devices I have plugged in. As you can see, currently, even while doing the test, I have 46 devices plugged in Wi-Fi going into that router sharing 400 megs of Internet speed. That's a lot, and I know most of you don't have a scenario like that. I just have everything, security cameras inside, outside, everything in my house. My doors, open Wi-Fi, everything in my home is absolutely Wi-Fi, so if the Wi-Fi ever goes down, my house shuts down. But the convenience of having a smart home are endless for me, and I, I wouldn't go without it, okay? Just hope that my Wi-Fi doesn't go out at all, because then I can't get in my house. Anyway, I have the most latest technology. Now... The next question I'll probably get asked, Dan, what kind of Ethernet cable did you use? Because there are different ones, and that is true. For those techie guys, I use a Cat8 Ethernet cable. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's just the latest 
Ethernet cable that was just released. It's a CAT8, so it makes the information go back and forth a lot quicker, faster, with less interruptions. So it's the most high-end cable that you can get right now as Ethernet that I'm actually going to be using for my wife's computer because she's running she's running a CAT6 right now. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade her to a CAT8 so she can have that better connection going to it. Uh, for those of you, again, don't go crazy changing these cables around right now. It's not really you know, life or death, all the cables that you have will still work. And usually your cable provider, if they do any updates or anything, they should be changing out those cables to the latest ones. But for these tests, I just want to share with you guys everything that I have in my home, why the speeds were 150, 200 around there with, with the, with the spe speed test like this, because I have so many devices. And still, 150 it's, will do the job that it needs to be done on a fire stick. You shouldn't have any buffering issues when you're streaming or anything with 150 megs of internet speed. Uh, for those of you that saw a greater internet speed boost with the new Wi-Fi Max when I did the test on that, it's because the Wi-Fi Max is made to work with Wi-Fi 6, and that's what I have. I have a Wi-Fi 6 router. So don't think that just because you jump into this, you're going to get way higher. You may get a little bit of an increase even with a regular router, but it's not that much to break the bank and, and go upgrade from a 4K to a 4K Max. Again, I, I, I mentioned this on a previous video. If you have a old standard definition Fire Stick and you want to upgrade your Fire Stick to a better one, then definitely go for the Max. But if you have a 4K and you just want to jump over to this, I say get your money's worth out of this one first. And then when you're ready just to do a, a complete upgrade, then jump over to the Max because it is a great one, but it's something that's going to benefit you if you also have the equipment to go with the new features that it offers. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you again, Robert, for that awesome question. Guys, if you have any comments or any questions or just anything at all that you want to say regarding this video, any experiences that you had in your home differently with an Ethernet adapter cable, please leave it in the comments below and let, let us know how it's working in your home. My recommendation, guys, don't waste your money. But somebody else may have a different opinion, so check out the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. Your support is greatly appreciated. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.